Well hello everybody and welcome to Chef's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some lemon squares um, which are topped with a white uh, chocolate and lemon ganache. Now I've got the idea for this recipe from uh, my great niece Grace who was looking on the internet and found a recipe for something called uh, Little Lemonies which are these squares but with a different uh, topping on top. So. Um, I've adapted that recipe and I've got my own topping to go on top of that. It's very simple to make um, and you just need an 8 inch square tin. I'm using a cake tin but a shallower, a shallower one would be okay as well. And the ingredients are uh, 142 grams which is one cup of plain flour, 150 grams which is three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm using caster sugar but granulated is okay. I've got a tablespoon of lemon zest and that's actually the zest of two lemons uh, the size I can buy. Then I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. And for the wet ingredients I have uh, 113 grams which is half a cup of butter which I've melted and I've allowed it to cool, uh, uh, to cool down. I have uh, 45 millilitres which is three tablespoons of lemon juice. I have two medium eggs which would be large in the USA and I have one teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. I also have my oven preheating at uh, 180 Celsius that's 160 Celsius with a fan 350 Fahrenheit and I've uh, greased my 8 inch square tin and I've lined it with parchment paper as well. That's just for ease of getting it out, getting the cake out afterwards. So what I'm going to do is to put the sugar, oops, put, sorry that needs to go into the bigger bowl, put the sugar and the flour, the baking powder and the salt and uh, the lemon zest into this bowl and then I'm going to just stir them all around to get them combined. That's fine. So then the next thing to do is just to mix all the wet ingredients. So I'm going to put the lemon juice into the butter and the two eggs. and the vanilla extract and I'm going to whisk those together that's fine and then I'm simply going to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients but I'm going to do it a bit at a time and I'm just going to stir until it's all combined. So that's combined and then what I'm going to do is pour that into my cake tin
and then I'm just going to shake that to get it into the corners. It will, it will level off. It's a very shallow amount of mixture. As I say, you could use a shallower tin than this, but I, I wanted to use this one. It's easier for papering. And so what I'm going to do is to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for 18 to 20 minutes until it's springy to the touch and a skewer in the center comes out clean. Then I'll take it out and let it cool down. And once it's cooled down, I'll come back and we'll make the ganache to put on top. Uh, the lemon uh, cake baked, and as you can see, it's just risen a little bit. So it's a nice uh, thin layer of cake. And what I have now is um, 170 grams, which is one cup of uh, white chocolate chips. I have 14 grams, one tablespoon of butter, a teaspoon of lemon zest, and into that I'm going to pour 60 millilitres, which is a quarter of a cup of double cream. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, melt that in the microwave uh, in short bursts until it's uh, melted and I can stir it together. Then it's going to go on top of uh, our cake. So I've melted the chocolate with the cream, the butter and the lemon zest. And I'm, I've put the cake back into the tin just for ease of um, spreading basically. And I'm going to pour that mixture onto the top of the cake and I'm just going to spread it evenly across. And then I'm going to put it into the fridge to chill so that the chocolate topping sets. I'm just going to give it a shake to level it up a little bit. And that's ready to go into the fridge now. Now, you could, if you wanted to, just um, zest a little bit more lemon and sprinkle it on the top like that so I'll put that in the fridge and I'll let it set and then I'll come back and we'll cut it and we'll have a taste I let the um, ganache on top of the lemon squares uh, chill in the fridge uh, just for about 45 minutes so that it sets up nicely and I've cut it into 16 squares um, which are quite a nice size. So as you can see, um, the cake has a sort of uh, denser texture like a Madeira cake or a pound cake rather than a sponge cake. And I'll have a taste of it. Mm. That does taste very good got the, um, the nice texture of the cake and uh, the lemon flavour comes through on that and then that silky smooth uh, white chocolate flavour as well. Very, very good. 
um, and quite easy to make. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. I say thanks to Grace for finding the original recipe that I based it on. Uh, in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on to take you to the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well. And please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.